A Fort Thomas soldier lost his life defending his country in Afghanistan. And even after death, the 20-year-old is still saving lives. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is covering Northern Kentucky News now, joins us with how the soldier's family is honoring his sacrifice. Sayed? Well, Clyde Army Private Brandon Pick gunned down during an attack on April 8th. He died two days later, but not before donating six of his organs to people in need. He's what his family calls the ultimate hero. That's how we usually was. Just like that. 20 year old Brandon Pickering and his mom, Tammy Moore, were the best of friends. So that was right before he went into boot camp. It was a friendship the four times gave his life defending. He became a man in a very short time. His stepfather, Mike Moore, helped raise the Highland High School graduate since he was three years old and says life after losing his stepson is quiet, a little too quiet. Is there one thing you're going to miss most? Just, just hearing him pulling it out, boy. Now pick up family's memory, a poster board of pictures, a wall full of cards, and an album of precious moments offer a sense of comfort. Mike remembers a special moment on a recent deer hunting trip. It wasn't about the deer hunt. It was with all the guys at deer camp, standing around the fire, talking, sharing stories. And uh, nobody killed a deer that day, but good time. But pick goes beyond just stories and pictures. Pickering was on a mission to give people a better life. And even after being killed in action, this soldier stayed on course. He donated six of his organs to complete strangers, including his heart, liver, pancreas, and both kidneys. Truly a hero among heroes. I'm just very proud of him, and not only him, all, all the young men and women and the whole military that are still over there. Big story there. Privacy rules prevent the family from knowing much about who received those organs, but we do know part of Private Pickering's liver went to a six-year-old. Now, the family has made funeral arrangements. The visitation is Thursday from 5 to 8 at the Fort Hall. The funeral will be held Friday at 10 a.m. at the Bank of Kentucky Center on the Northern Kentucky University campus. The family welcomes the public. Clyde. All right, Sayed. Thanks for that report.